Hello there guys and welcome to Mad Doc Minis. So I've got another Titan update for you. Uh, I think I've got enough really to kind of uh, do a decent video here. So let's uh, dive straight in. So I think we need to get right to business here. <laughs> and yeah, I grew a pair and decided to do a penis gun. So here we go. Um, no jokes about um, how big or how small it is, please. Thank you. Um, so what we use is a um this is from the uh, bane blade a tank kit and you know this is a i don't know exactly what cannon this would be on the on the tank um but it looked kind of suitable it looked kind of short rangeish it's nicely detailed uh this thing here is from a uh earth shaker sort of cannon from the um what's it called the basilisk kit i mean that that is like year that's been sitting in my bits box for years and years and years I just think it gives a little bit of nice shape to kind of the area and with the kind of little eagle on top here. Um, and I've just kind of cut in some uh, EPVC and underneath we've got ruminate parts for structure and stability. Inside there, which you're not going to be able to see, I've used two kind of plastic cogs um, to kind of add some support to this. So it's kind of like, it's, it's actually pretty... Uh, rigid that and that's all been hot glued together um so there we go there we go i thought well you know in for a penny in for a pound so let the comments and the jokes begin <laughs> right so now we've got that bit out of the way let's move on to some other little bits and more minor bits here just covering up wood basically so ruminate parts just to kind of um you know uh cover up some of this wood grain because that's not going to be too good when it's painted uh the leg armor has had a little bit of an upgrade i'm not uh, you know finished with this yet uh, it still looks a little bit a little bit rough i think but um this is epvc and this is just glued on that just like widens the leg armor out a little bit and that's obviously been done on both sides there so that's uh, that's good i do think that actually makes it look a bit you know better a little bit more bulky on the legs which is good um Moving on up, Lego again, okay? So, here, all right? Now, if this thing ever gets onto a tabletop, you're gonna be looking kind of up at it, because obviously, I mean, it's, I mean, the, the main body here uh, is kind of about three foot tall. When you put the cathedral on top, it's gonna to be more like four foot. So you're gonna be looking up at it if it's on a tabletop. So kind of getting up underneath and getting all these details is quite important. Now, these bits here, are i mean component numbers for the lego uh, i don't know offhand but these are kind of like uh, lego columns uh, one by maybe five something like that uh we've got this little kind of sloped stud bit on the end here and these are like these are actually kind of uh clear kind of ones that they'd use for kind of lights and things like that and that just covers the stud on the end and then we've got this kind of curved uh, component here, look, and that looks, makes a nice kind of like, I don't know, gothic -y kind of support. And it's super easy because Lego goes together very easily. And then I just uh, use a little bit of glue, you know, the craggle <laughs> uh, on there. And um, yeah, I kind of to space those fairly evenly around the whole thing. So if we take the lid off, so to speak, we can see, look, that they're kind of all the way around, all right? And they're either, depending on exactly where they are and what they're stuck to, they're either hot glued on or super glued on. They're reasonably solid. I mean, you know, they could get knocked off with enough force, but then you can kind of say that about anything on this thing, really. So at the end of the day, it is a model. It's not a, you know, a toy. So, um, you know, there's only so much strength and rigidity you can give to kind of decorating it. Um, speaking of decoration, just a, a little detail that I was really happy with. Uh, you know those um, those counters. Uh, I guess they're counters. I don't know exactly what they are from the um, Adeptus Tit uh, Titanicus game. They slotted perfectly. Well, maybe not perfectly. I had to kind of wedge them in, but they're not glued. They're wedged in into these holes on these funny little components I had. I mean, if you remember, if you've been following along, these funny kind of grey things here were from the kind of packaging uh, of a radiator that I, I bought from my house. And the kind of, there's holes up above and below here, and, and they just kind of 
really kind of fit well into the holes and they had a little bit of decoration it makes it look really really nice so i was really happy with that little thing so uh what else have we got if we turn this guy around we've got quite a big development at the back of the titan here and there's some stuff that you won't be able to see as well that i've been working on which i'll explain some big stuff so um back of the uh the kind of the penis gun housing um We've got this, this is from a toy, so this is like a little kind of, I don't know, like a gantry kind of thing here. Um, ruminate parts, EPVC, some Lego components, uh, a door from, I believe, a, um, I think that's Repulsor door. And we've got a Lego ladder just kind of disappearing up through there. So a suggestion of access uh, up through the kind of main um, the structure. All right. Um, also... These components are from the uh, Galvanic Servo Haulers kit uh, that I had lying around in my bits box. And I've just kind of hidden that behind some ruminate here that I kind of glued on as well. So it's kind of bulking out the legs a little bit um, there. So that's uh, that's nice. Um, right. What else? Oh, yes. The, the, the big development, or maybe not quite the biggest, but one of the biggest, is being the... Um, the plasma cannon, the kind of plasma destructor, or whatever the hell you want to call it, the, the back end is completely different now. Now, some of you are going to like this change, some of you are not going to like this change. Um, but the bottom line is, I wasn't happy with what was going on back here. And, you know, I'm trying to make this as good as I can. Obviously, it's going to look like a scratch built Titan. It is what it is. But I want it to look as good as it can do. And it was, uh, if you remember, it was like a box on the back. So it was very boxy and I had quite a good kind of thing, kind of like a diagonal kind of venting out the side of it. Now it's not the overall shape necessarily that bothered me too much, although it was a little bit bulky. It was the fact that in the building process, it got kind of squished and uneven. So when you looked at it from the side, it was like, it, it just wasn't right. It was like on an angle and it just, it was spoiling things really so i thought no let's get this sorted so we just used this this kind of tub here and i've just kind of glued these uh baby lids uh baby food lids straight on to kind of represent the kind of big plasma cells the kind of plasma flasks i think that's okay uh we've got epvc strips here just to kind of maybe just break up this kind of smooth surface a little bit see so i've kind of hot glued around here and stuck a peanut butter jar lid a plastic lid on there and i've used the same kind of symbol on the back here as was on the original plasma uh cannon um, i am actually much much happier with that it just it just pleased me to sort it out because you know when you kind of leave something you think oh well that'll do and actually in reality it just kind of annoys you in the background and that was what was going on um so yeah i was happy to do that a little bit of extra detail again some more counters or whatever the hell they are from the adeptus titanicus kit just to kind of i don't know uh break things up a little bit add a little bit of detail there, there's a lot more to do detail wise on this thing up top but we're getting there slowly but surely so Look, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I think, you know, that was enough to kind of fill up a, a kind of, you know, smallish video. Um, it's going well. I've just, it's, it's snatched time between the kind of projects uh, for the channel, you know, with the, you know, the kind of the, my Space Marine stuff and kind of any other bits and pieces and doing this. Obviously, it's a little bit of, a little bits of a snatch time. I do appreciate you uh, following along and I appreciate your patience with it. These things take a little bit of time to kind of work out. And, uh, and you'll see that it's not a linear process. Um, if you ever have a go at something like this yourself, um, I think you'll see what I mean. And, you know, you, you're constantly going backwards and forwards like with this. You think, oh, no, I'm not really happy with that. Now, you've got to get the balance right. You can't do that too much um, because otherwise you'll never get anything finished. But that's made me happy. That's kind of sorted now. And uh, I'm, I'm going to pro probably put some rivets and some more detailing on it. But the, the main shape is down. So that's good. Now, the two other things I want to discuss are... Now, this, this happens on a big build uh, sometimes, is this thing was developing quite a list, all right? So um, what we've got underneath um, one of the feet is like a kind of a, 
a lifter. Now, forgive me, I can't remember whether I've discussed this in a previous video, but I'll discuss it again. If anyone's joining in on this one, you know, they're going to learn it for the first time. But uh, if I have mentioned it before, my, my apologies, guys, but it was developing a sideways list. So what we've got is actually a big bit of ruminate under one of the feet to kind of correct the sideways list. And that's just like adds a wedge underneath. Also, um, it was developing a, a hell of a back tilt. Um, so the whole uh, section here, when you, when you put the kind of lid onto it, this whole thing was tilting backwards. So you had to do some major surgery up underneath to kind of shave off bits of wood to get this thing to kind of as it kind of sits down to kind of sit nice and straight. So there was a lot of work um, on that and I've been tweaking around with that again to kind of get that right. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly straight up here, but it does need to look okay when when it's kind of you know when it's displayed and it, and it wasn't it was it was too far off so between the foot and that we've we've had to make some corrections and you know part that's probably due to the fact that you know um, it's not been 100 percent accurate on measuring and you know i'm not a carpenter or anything and because uh, you know the structure is wood and uh and also you add bits on you you i mean all this paraphernalia well individually it's all quite light it's cardboard it's it plastic it, you know it's it's junk all together it's a lot of weight if you put it all in a little box it adds weight and it kind of it affects the balance and you know i suspect one side is slightly heavier than the other and these things happen so you you kind of got to adapt as you go anyway i'll stop waffling guys thank you ever so much for joining me Hope you're enjoying the Titan build and uh, the other videos. Uh, thank you ever so much to all my subscribers. I recently passed 750, which is great. It's a nice milestone to get to. Um, so I really, really appreciate it. And please let me know what you think. I really enjoy reading all your comments. Uh, consider liking if you've enjoyed the video and uh, sharing with a friend if you think they might be interested. So thanks ever so much. And I will catch you in a future video. Cheers.